Ever thought about what it would be like to play the Borg from Star Trek and Stellaris? Well, there is a build that will let you do just that. So this time we will cover Germanus Simulator and why I think it is perhaps one of the funnest empires to play. The big strength of this build is being able to conquer planets and turn all of their unruly, unstable pops into obedient, stable cyborgs with bonuses. Once you convert them, they will no longer be unhappy and cause you trouble. No purging or slavery required. They are just yours. In the beginning, this can be extremely overpowered as you can more than double your population if you conquer the first empire you bump into. Since your population are cyborgs and robots, they get special bonuses associated with them. Driven Assimilator is more and more difficult to stop as it conquers more and more empires. Cybernetic Ascension is arguably the best, and you get to have it much earlier than other empires. Since Driven Assimilator is a machine empire, colonizing every planet is no problem and there are very little production penalties. Cyborg Pops can also live in machine worlds with this build. This is amazing because now there is no downside to spamming machine worlds. So there are many advantages to playing this build. So how do we set up this build? First, you must have the Synthetic Dawn DLC. Choose Gestalt Consciousness as your ethic. Pick Machine Intelligence as your authority. For Civics, you will need to choose Driven Assimilator for your first pick. For the second pick, I picked Maintenance Protocols. This can compensate for the lack of unity I will face as a non-rogue servitor machine empire. My third pick is Static Research Analysis because you can't go wrong with more alternatives. There are two different species with this build, Machine and Cyborgs. For your Cyborg species, I picked Traditional for even more unity. I picked Ingenious because Machine Empires use energy credits a lot for research, unity, ships, and building upkeep. I picked Natural Engineers since I had a point left and Engineering is the best tech type. I picked Decadent and Deviant since they have no effect on this species whatsoever. Governing ethics and happiness are irrelevant to this build. So for the machine species, I went with superconductive for even more energy credits. I went with power drills for more minerals. I wanted to go for efficient processors, but I could not find a way to make it work. For negatives, I picked luxurious and high maintenance because they seemed the most harmless for the points that I needed. For a planet class, I would pick dry climate, either desert, arid, or savanna worlds since dry planets tend to have more generator districts, which you will absolutely need to have because of all the research and unification you will be doing. Like most of my builds, I go with logistical understanding every time. It really adds up late game. Let's talk origins. There is no question. Being able to start with a machine world is OP, so pick the resource consolidation origin. This turns your home planet into a machine world, giving bonuses and unlocking all building slots. This is huge because the lack of building slots is an issue with other empires. Also, planetary features do not matter, so stack as many districts as you want. You want a generator world as your first colony to generate energy credits immediately so you could start pumping out research. Next colony should be a mining world. After that, use your machine capital for alloy production by building mainly industrial districts. For traditions, I would definitely pick supremacy as your first, no messing around. You will want to conquer the first empire you see. You will need the bonuses, don't forget to set the supremacist stance policy. When you complete it, pick Organo Machine Interfacing as your first ascension perk so you can then pick the cybernetic tradition tree. After that, you can either pick Transcendental Learning or pick Machine Worlds if it's unlocked. It usually takes a while to unlock Machine Worlds, so pick Transcendental Learning for more Scientist Cap. Unless you want to become the Crisis, I would wait for Machine Worlds before you spend your third Ascension perk. Discovery or Prosperity for your third tradition depending on your preference. Discovery has gotten a lot better in Patch 3.10. Some things to watch out for while you're playing. Always watch your back when conquering other empires. 
the AI likes to attack vulnerabilities, I have been attacked by one empire when all my forces were on the opposite side of the galaxy, assimilating another. Defensive packs and federations can be particularly problematic. When assimilating, capture their home planet as soon as you possibly can. This will start the assimilation process. Once that's complete, it won't matter if they take it back. They will never get those pops back, especially if you resettle them. Oh, I forgot to mention, when you take a system as a driven assimilator, you do not need to claim. You just take systems immediately. So driven assimilator is high risk, high reward. Hopefully you snowball out of control before the computer has a chance to ally and gang up on you. I hope this video helped you get started and play well into Endgame. I am sure I missed some things. Feel free to comment. I think I covered most of it though. I'll see you next time.